Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank God for being here again. We thank God for our many blessings. Thank God for what he's doing in this season for, uh, for Churches United. Uh, we thank God for TV35 for letting us be on. We thank God for the people on YouTube who watch on Sunday. Uh, we thank God for all my supporters. We thank God for uh, Miss Bertha Ross. We thank God for um, um, Apostle Gloria. We thank God for um, just friends and family. Everybody who support us, everybody who encourage us, we thank you. And we just, we give God the praise for you. Amen. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes we need that, the little love to keep us going. We, 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 we already know we're working for the Lord. We know we have to do this. Uh, but when y'all bless us and call us and, and, t and give us little, little pointers, uh, it really keep us going. So we thank God for it. Hallelujah. Um, we're going to go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, Father, we pray, Lord, that this program will be a blessing to those that are watching or those that hear about it. Father, we ask that you have your way, that yes, your Holy Spirit lead us and guide us. And Lord, we just want to lift up your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity, Lord God. Yeah. We bless you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Y'all, I hope you everybody staying safe. Uh, Dublin seems like it's doing pretty good. Uh, the hospital not full. People, uh, the, those who was in, uh, recovered mostly. You know, I think they said we have one death, uh, so that's good. That's good that um, the doctors are uh, putting in the special effort to get everybody uh, to recover Amen. and to get out. Amen. I don't know what they're doing down there, but they're doing a good job. Awesome Amen. Job. Because I, I do know some people who had the virus recover. So we thank God for that. And we thank God and we pray, Almighty God, for this country. Lord, we pray, Almighty God, that you send us the help we need. We pray for God to deliver people, uh, to come against everything that's, that's not good and that's not of God. Uh, come against the racism, come against the... Uh, the uh, wrong that's going on in the police department. We just praying that God come and, and move and show Himself and show that He is God and He has the power to stop and to, to heal this land. So y'all keep praying and keep calling out to God to come and heal the land because the land is getting outrageous. It's not only sick with illness, it's sick with, with wickedness So we and sin. So we, we pray for God to come and show himself and deliver us out of this. Hallelujah. I mean, it's it's a time now to start repenting for everything. Just repent, repent, repent. And and ask God to forgive you. And when you feel like you've done something wrong, rebuke yourself and pray to God to forgive you in Jesus' name. Amen, y'all. I'm trying to get Jesus to come. Hallelujah. And, and show that he is God, that, that the Lord is in charge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, we're going to be, once again, encouraging God people. Amen. Amen. We're going to be coming out of uh, Philippians. And we're going to be in chapter 2. Amen. Chapter 2. Amen. And it reads, If you have any encouragement, from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Right. Do nothing out of selfish ambition. Nothing. Or vain conceit. That's right. But in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Is that right? Amen. And a lot of people are being real vain. But I thank God for uh, shutting everything down. Amen. Because Amen. Uh, some people was being vain and they was uh, wrapped up in themselves. Even when it comes to the ministry, uh, they was doing things not for the glory of God, uh, but sometimes for the glory of the church. Uh, for people to say, yeah, they doing it over there. They got so many members. Uh, the praise so. team. And, and, and you know, all for self. But God don't want us to be vain. Really, vainness is a sin. 
Amen. Amen. He want us to humble ourselves. That means, uh, humble means to get low. Amen. Mm -hmm. Get low, sit down, rest in the Lord, and, and, uh, and just be still. Because if you're not humble, <clears throat> you can't hear what God is telling you to do. You just out there doing what you want to do. Oh, this look good. Uh, this, this, this right here. We're gonna go do this. We're gonna go do that. You know, and a lot of uh, ministry operate on what other people decide to do in the church. Amen. Amen. But Amen. are you doing it for the Lord? And, and even in your family, are you doing it in uh, in good standards and in God's eyes? You see what I'm saying? You got to know that He is always watching. So. We don't want to be vain. We want to humble ourselves. Yeah. Amen. And then Paul stressing uh, uh, unity. Yeah. Spiritual unity. He's saying that we should love one another and that we should be one spirit and one purpose. Uh, we should come together with those that are in charge, who God's put over us. Yeah. Come together, line up, one accord, and be about God's business. You know, uh, where it says, put others better than you consider others better than yourself. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes when you really think about that, it seems like a hard thing to do. <laughs> it does. But when we allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, you know, he made those things that seem hard easy. Because that's our job to want to be a blessing of to serve. So we come together as one, being humble, not trying to put ourselves above anyone or anyone beneath us. But being humble, working together in love, one body, That's in right. Christ. And, and you're going to have to have love. Oh, yeah. Because that's what put it in your heart to do. Yeah. Uh, the love for the people, the love for every, everyone that's, uh, that you see need. Um, to, uh, you know, meet the needs of the people. That's what, that's what pastors are supposed to do, and ministers, and deacons. And, you know, if you're going to come to me, come to me with a need. For the congregation, for the people of God, and for uh, people who you know need. And, and the only way you're going to do that is your heart got to be right. You have to have a heart that love um, and not vain. Because if you love yourself more than everything else, there's something wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with loving yourself. I said more <laughs> than ever. <laughs> See, some people love themselves so much, they don't care about nobody but themselves. Yeah, you're right about they that. They put self first. You know, selfish ambition, you know, it can destroy a church. It can destroy Ooh. anything, but selfish it can ambition destroy can destroy a marriage. Church. It can yes. destroy a, a friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have the best friend. Mm -hmm. But when they start being selfish and putting everything for themselves and it's all about them, it'll destroy. That's right. Consider no one but yourself. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to be one body working together. You know, and uh, sometimes uh, everybody comes from different backgrounds. From uh, Everybody's not in the same family. You know, That's some right. people come from different states. So we're all mixed together. So everybody have different attitudes and different opinions. So when we, when we come together, so we have to put, put aside our own selfish ambitions. That's right. Right? And come together as one body and build whatever the goal that, that God has given that pastor, that is what we're going to line up to try to get accomplished. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, Romans 12 and 3 says, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought. You know, don't, nobody is bigger and better than anybody else, in my opinion. Everybody the same. I taught my children to uh, uh, never to look down on anybody and don't allow anybody to look down on you. Mm -hmm. You know, be proud of who you are. You know, walk with your head up. And as born again believers, that's what we do. We walk with our head up. That's right. We walk in, not in pride of self, but in pride of the God we serve. You know, trying to uh, accomplish the mission which he's, which he's given us to do. And the one way we can do all of this is just by showing each other respect. That's right. So showing each other That's respect. Right. Showing That's each right. Other I respect. like that. Amen. Amen. I like that. <laughs> Wait, what you mean about that? Start fire. Start a fire. Okay. Okay. When the eyes stop up there. <laughs> he the read of the day. Each of you should look not only to yourself, to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Verse 5, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, 
That's awesome. That's right. Christ is our example. That's awesome. He looks at a whole different thing. <laughs> Sound better than me. <laughs> Verse uh He said your attitude now. <laughs> mine said mine didn't say attitude. It said your mind. So that's why I like his book better. But yeah, because he's breaking down your attitude. Amen. That's right. And your, your attitude will show. Yeah. No matter how you try to hide it, what's in you gonna come out. Yeah. Do you, I know y'all know even people who holy, people who saved and sanctified have an attitude. Oh yeah. They all have attitude. Yeah. But he's telling you how to let your attitude be. Amen. The same as Christ. Christ is our example. <laughs> you know, Christ standing is high. And we're trying to get there one day at a time. That's right. You know, called sanctification. sanctification. You know, one day at a time. Verse 6. Who being in the very nature of God did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Hmm. But made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Hmm. 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 Christ is God in the flesh. Now he didn't, he didn't boast. And uh, say I'm 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 Christ. I'm all this. He everything everything in the world in heaven belongs to him. But he humbled himself, took on the form of a human body. That's right. To serve. To come out and serve. To serve us. Out. Servant. Amen. And we're to be like um, Christ, servant like. That's right. Servant like. And and that's why I don't understand how people <clears throat> can have the nerve to complain about. Uh, what what their calling is or what they supposed to do in the church or uh, I supposed to be doing this or I supposed to be a, a prophet I, I you should be elevating me by now you know humble yourself Christ then 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 exalt himself amen all. so all. he let God do that through the works amen so let God uh, exalt you That's right. don't you you got to serve. And one thing about it, uh, God will open doors for you. If That's right. It's for you. He will open those doors for you. That's right. You can you can work what you want to work, but it will not benefit you the way it will if you allow God to do it. Right. You know, humble yourself. We are, we all have to humble ourselves right. in many ways in this walk, in life period, and to be Christ-like. You know, to love your enemies. You know, do good to those who spitefully abuse you. You know, that is being Christ-like. And that's not something that we uh, jump right into. We have to grow into those things. Yeah. The Holy Spirit has to develop us, yeah. get us to the point where we can live a, live a life that's pleasing to God. That's you right. know, and no matter how how we do, somebody's gonna always say something negative. But we have to always. remember, Christ is our example. Look what they did. They hung him on a tree. So, and the Pharisees, Sadducees were jealous of him, and he that's was right. doing nothing but good. That's right. So he's our example. We have to take on the same attitude as Christ. Be a servant. Be a servant. Want to serve. Seek to serve. That's right. And not looking for everybody to serve us. Amen. Amen. Verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Man, being an example to us. Think about that. He humbled himself. If you knew that your destiny was you going to die for the love of Christ, would you humble yourself? Or would you have anxiety? Would you be uh, just so upset? Why I got to die for the Lord? You would, know, you why, 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 would you run away? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to leave. You know? And just think if he would have left us, yeah. if he would have left you know, the people who he was going to die for our sins, yeah. just think if he would say, hey, uh, I don't want to do this. Just call me on back up. You know, uh, they they not worthy of this. I mean, they seek to kill me. You know, yeah. because we we can get like that. Hey, wait a minute, God. He said he gonna kill me. So I don't know. You know, but he didn't do that. He humbled himself, yes. and um, he stayed strong for us, and he stayed obedient all the way into death because he had to obey God because God already had his destiny. You know that he was gonna die, so he had to obey and go all the way to the end, all the way carry his own cross. And you think about uh, 
he obeyed. But you think about the love that he had for us. Uh -huh. to, to stick to God's plan, knowing that he was going to be uh, crucified, beaten, lied on, spit on, beat on, and yet still go through this, obedient enough to go through this, because he loved the Father and he loved us. Yeah. And how can we not, when we really think about the thing, how can we not want to live and be like him? That's how right. can we not? That's right. Not saying it's easy, but that's the desire of our heart is to live in a man that's pleasing to the Lord. My God. Yes, sir. My God. We, yeah. we in this world have to stop judging people. Uh, no matter how they look and where they come from, what the religion is. And, you know, if they say they love God and they living right and they doing right and they trying to get uh, to the finish line like everybody else and stand to the end, then we should respect that, you know, because that's the same way they did Christ, you know. They saw him being good, saw him being a servant, saw him healing in his ministry and his walk. And, and people was uh, following him. Uh, jealousy is still in the world. Mm -hmm. You a good pastor and your church is on point with God. People going to be jealous of you. They're going to talk about you. And they're going to find some little flaw. That they don't go over there because they have this and they have that. But they did Christ the same way. Mm -hmm. So my, my job, his job is to keep on pressing mm -hmm. and to keep on doing the work of God for that people. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's not in the numbers. Don't, don't allow oh, the no. numbers of how many people you have or don't have. Don't allow that to uh, get you off track. Because when we sometimes we get to doing that, we start to look at really the flesh. That's right. We look at our side of uh, right. God's plan. So don't don't look at the numbers. Sometimes we can get discouraged. You know, we know this. And sometimes I feel like things not going our way. But look at Christ. Walking that same walk in obedience regardless, knowing that he, he was going to die. Amen. So Christ humbled himself and gave up, up his right, his right at the right hand of God, in order to obey God and serve us. Mm. Serve us. So we should have a servant attitude like our Lord. That's right. Serve out of love, not guilt, <laughs> not fear, or because you're looking for something in return. Woo. You know, with your hand out. No, Woo. serve out of love, love for God. And when we serve out of love for God, you know, we can serve those hard-headed people, those mean people. That's right. We can do it. But we're doing it for a selfish gain. Uh, it's hard to serve people that's, uh, that's right. with a bad attitude. That's right. I'm going to tell y'all this. We, we come on. We, we be on this show. I've been doing it for six years. Myself, Church is United. And I would tell you this. We don't do it for the money because we only have a few people that really send something to the P.O. Box. You know, we ask every week that y'all mail y'all prayer requests. Uh, uh, give a donation if you can. Bless the ministry. But uh, we don't get, we don't receive it. Uh, amen. But we still here every week doing the work of God. Amen. 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 You know, don't think that we here because the mailbox full. When we go down and no, we are not. We are serving God. Amen. People, we trying to get y'all to understand that it's not all about money. And, and it's the love because we love God and we love you. Amen. So we want to see everybody make it in. Amen. So we are in your face every week making sure that we telling you something about God. We instructing you how to live holy and how to live a righteous life. Amen. And just being real. You know, yeah. being real. Having conversations yeah, keep about real. the word of God. That's right. That's having conversations about the word of God. Verse 8. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Amen. And the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in every. heaven and on the earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. God exalted Christ. Christ went through a lot for us. But God exalted him. And because of his death, burial, and resurrection, now we have a chance for life. That's right. We receive Christ. We become a new creature, a new creation. Mm -hmm. Now, we leave this world, we die. This body goes into the ground, but we don't die. That's right. Our spirit lives on. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. That's right. 
We never die. When we look at the scripture, we never die because we are spiritual beings. So when we, when we go through all that we go through in this world, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes we, oh man, I'm tired of this. But we have to always hold on to, to the Lord. That's right. Believing and trusting that whatever whatever we're going through, He's going to bring us out. Yes, He will. And when we go through the Word day by day, whatever, when we pray, we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. We don't lead ourselves because then you know, we end up walking in the flesh and doing things that are contrary to the Word of God. So we so we allow the Holy Spirit to, to deal with us, to lead us, to guide us. Because we want to be just what the Bible says. We want to be Christ-like. We want to be servants. That's right. And I thank God for what he's doing right now in this season mm -hmm. because, um, you know, I was listening to that uh, scripture, every knee shall bow. Amen. 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 And, yeah. and, and let me tell you, it's something about taking a knee these days. The police is taking a knee. Mm -hmm. The sports uh, football players took a knee. Amen. Now the protesters taking a knee. Amen. He said every knee shall bow. And he is uh, showing us examples right now that they gonna bow. Amen. They feel like we taking a knee for protest, uh, for justice, and for this. No? Have you ever thought that's the way you gonna bow? You still gonna have to get on your knees. If he can't get you on your knees one way, he'll get you on another way. Amen? Amen. Amen. And every knee shall bow. So don't, don't get upset when you see them taking a knee. They taking a knee for a, a reason. They right, taking a knee for prep for uh for for justice, for righteousness. Amen? Amen. To be done in this world. So go ahead, take a knee. Amen. And we should be constantly praying for for those, not just not those like us, but everyone. We should be constantly praying that the Lord will have his way during this situation. And that uh the change that needs to happen. To make things better for all of us, better will happen because uh, it's trying to get worse. So you know we need to really, really, really pray. Right? We really, really need to pray. Amen. And I was thinking, you know, uh, a lot of times we can't go to church like we used to. Some people are going back to church, but you know, if you're not going right now, don't be discouraged. Continue to do church on phone, online, whatever how you do it until God leads you to go back to church. That's but right. remember, uh, Jesus and his disciples. That was outside the building. He took his ministry all, all over the place. Yeah, and they walked. We are the church. The building is there, but we're the body of Christ. So wherever we go, let the Holy Spirit use you That's to right. share Christ, to serve, to be a blessing to someone else. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Well, we pray, Almighty God, that you, you really, really were blessed today because I was blessed just sitting here listening to Minister Jones because uh, I like him to read to me in a way. I, 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 we got two different books, but he'll say, you read yours, I read mine. But um, when somebody else is reading it, it helps you understand it better. And then you go back and read it, you know. Um, I hope when I read to him, he understand it better too. Yeah. <laughs> But, but I just thank God for today. And Heavenly Father, we just pray, Almighty God, that you continue to bless us and cover us and keep us all covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all stay safe and we'll we'll be back uh, next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.